Good afternoon and welcome to this Friday's edition of Mox News. I'm Christine Brown. And I'm Max Cordell. A new bookstore has just opened on Vine Street in the old Chattanooga Books location. Textbook brokers will carry both used and new textbooks and will compare prices on sites like Amazon and Chegg before pricing their books. UTC junior Christina Panani, a former employee of Chattanooga Books and current employee of the new store, Textbook Brokers, said she saw a decline in the old store's impact on campus during its last year. Owner Brad Wood said he liked the demographics of the area and the fact that there is no off-campus competition. The store hopes to become more involved in the UTC community and is considering several, several promotional giveaways to celebrate their opening. Voting has begun for SGA candidates. Students can vote for the candidate of their choice on orgsync.com through April 3rd. Bradley Bell, a senior from Knoxville, Tennessee, and Sam Nino, a sophomore from Franklin, Tennessee, are running for president. You can review each candidate's platform through our video of the debate held on Monday, March 26th. Also up on the ballot is a revised constitution for SGA. In Tuesday's meeting for SGA, the Senate voted to purchase three working meter signs to be placed on the meters in campus parking lots. The Social Issues Committee will be sponsoring diversity and a movie event on April 4th in the Multicultural Center. The Senate also voted to take $5,000 out of their savings account to be spent this year up on upcoming programs. CAB will be placing Easter eggs on, around campus on Monday morning for students to begin an Easter egg hunt. Students are able to collect as many eggs as they want. Inside the eggs will be, will be prizes that students can redeem. Anything from electronic prizes to a bag of Skittles. MTV's three-time Emmy Award-winning series, Made, is coming to UTC Monday, April 2nd to find a college student wanting the opportunity to change their life. Made will be conducting casting calls in the Fort Worth room of the UC from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. that afternoon. They're looking for participants ages 15 to 24 who want and need the opportunity to make a life goal or dream come true. Each interview will last around 10 minutes and could be the next step to making a lucky UTC student's dreams come true. You can find more information on MTV's MADE website at mtv.com. Hello, Mox fans. Get excited because this weekend is jam-packed with home sporting events. First up, the women's tennis team will take on UAB today at 2 p.m. on the UTC tennis courts. Then on Sunday, they're going to face App State in the Southern Conference showdown at noon. Men's tennis is also in town this weekend as they play Walford on Saturday at 1, then they're going to head over to the Baylor High School Court Sunday to face rival Davidson College at 1 p.m. as well. Track season is off and running as our athletes head down to Georgia Tech for the Yellow Jacket Invitational this weekend, so keep your eye on their standings at GoMox.com. Finally, it's football time on Mocky Top as tomorrow the annual Blue and Gold football game kicks off at 2 p.m., so everyone can come out and enjoy because there will be games and prizes given out all afternoon at Finley Stadium, so head on down for a great day of fun and football. Guys, that's going to do it for this weekend sports update. And remember, go to GoMox.com to keep track of all the scores and highlights. Hello, I'm Brian Bass. And I'm Teresa Simpson. The third annual Raven Barbecue Supper Time Show brought students out there doing for free food and entertainment. Students came from all around to gnaw some free ribs, enjoy live music, and set up the warm weather. And a group of college students had this idea. They wanted to do it. And so church threw some money at it. And here we are with ribs and barbecue and a couple of bands. The Supper Time Show was held in the parking lot of right across the Cosimo dorms. The line for the ribs you have to run the parking lot with students enjoying every ounce of barbecue. The live music featured local talent like the Family Gardener and Nashville Bows and Arrows, with the emphasis on the event remaining on free ribs cooked right in front of you. The Crest Gallery of Art is displaying UTC's Department of Art Senior BFA Thesis Exhibitions. This year's exhibition will feature the visual research of 32 students in their final year. The exhibition has been divided into two segments, show one and show two, to accommodate the participation of all the students. Each show will include a full range of media employing a large variety of materials from the traditional to the experimental. Seniors in show one and show two will give short presentations related to their work and practice will begin at 4 p.m. in the auditorium of Chattuck Hall. The focus of each student's conceptual framework of research will also be summarizing an artist's statements displayed on text panels throughout both exhibitions. UCC will host Leadership's third session at Camp Lookout from May 7th to 12th. 
The Leadership Institution is a unique experience that has been building leadership skills in young adults since 1986. Leadership actually made me think about my long-term goals and to put them into perspective. And that was an experience no one had ever introduced me to before. Over 31,000 participants worldwide have graduated from the program. It is a six-day non-stop self-discovery and learning experience that will build participant leadership concepts and abilities. Applications are available at leadership.com until March 30th, 2012. Participants who are selected to attend will be notified April 2nd, 2012. We're now going to go to Demarius Wiggins for an entertainment update. For next week's interlude intermission piece, I'm going to rewind decades, the time machine dialed to the 90s, and its significance on today's culture, what I would consider to be a revolutionary period in entertainment and lifestyle, the 90s, so tune in next week. For performances, there is an open improvisational jam for dancers, musicians, and spoken word poets on April 1st at 3 p.m. at the Barking Legs Theater. This particular event actually takes place every first Sunday each month. Yodo, an electronic fused induced band, will be at Track 29 next Thursday, April 5th at 3 p.m., along with Psychedelic Band of Montreal, who's going to be there the next day, April 6th at 9 p.m. Finally, and lo and behold, there's a college band night at the Camp House on April 6th at 7.30 p.m. The name is pretty much self-explanatory for UTC students. So for more information on the happiness of Chattanooga and upcoming performances, peep the events section on www.chattanoogabridge.com. That does it for this week's Mox News. Thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to check out our videos uploaded to YouTube. Until next time, have a great weekend.